Uh, it's me, Amul Shrestha. I'm in and Discord. This is the video of Slash Soul presentations of subject academic writing. And uh, here I'm going to present uh, by uh, on the topic like peer review in academic settings, book reviews, peer review of journal article, the reviewers report. Um, let's go to the, the very first slide. Uh, it has been entitled as Introduction to Research Grant Application. Uh, as far as uh, peer review uh, is concerned, it occurs in different ways in academic settings. First of all, let us discuss about the research grant application. At one hand, uh, the funding for research has been decreased worldwide. On the other hand, due to competitiveness, it's very difficult to obtain. Therefore, it has been metaphorically stated as genre as struggle and genre as problems. So, uh, so as to obtain research grant application, uh, it's, it's very difficult. And the current situation, that's why it has been stated as genre as struggle and genre as populace. Cloud Due 2016 describes grant proposals as promissory, promotional, problem oriented, and persuasive. And he further defines grant proposal as a high stakes genre as it can affect the researcher's work for a long time. So, high stakes genre, this is. Uh, important line out, out of this statements given by Flaherty. Grant writing as the most basic form of scientific writing. It, it is stated by mayors. Grant application writing is as a significant part of professional writing of most academics. Uh, this statement given by Corner 2000. 2000. The most significant aspects of grant applications are Funding agency guidelines and broad reviews of significant research by TARDI. According to TARDI, informs that the grant proposal is one of one small part of a large network involving multi parties such as colleagues, funding agencies, university, administrator, and academic community. Um, that's why, therefore, to write the applications the researcher needs to be aware with funding bodies web website its report mission and abstract of uh, funded projects so these are the ideas about the introductions to research grant application let us go to the second uh, slide here it has been titled as, as reviewing the research grant application so how can the review of research grant applications be done? Generally, research grant applications are reviewed by experts or the members of committees who evaluate the quality and feasibility of the application. So by the experts, it, it means uh, which assess or evaluate the quality and feasibility. By the form feasibility means the shortcomings. Assessors will generally have an idea about the identity of uh, applicants. However, applicants will not know who is assessing their work. Systems are very clear to understand. Uh, here, uh, uh, we can add one more idea like, uh, as far as the procedure is concerned, the procedures to review the research grant application may vary from one academic institutions to another academic institutions, perhaps from nations to nation. As per uh, National Science Foundation, NSF, one, once proposals have been submitted to the funding agency, they are sent out for review, where the assessors are selected based on their specific and or broad knowledge of the field of research and knowledge of the infrastructure of the research enterprise and its activities. According to Research Council Board UK, 
assessors are asked to comment on the viability, quality, potential benefits, cost effectiveness, and potential impact of the research. So um, the applicants are given chance, uh, some chances to be, uh, respond to the assessors comments uh, the council board observes comments and decides to fund the project or not so it's if it, this is the re responsibility of research council boards uh, to to, uh, to assess and to evaluate and at the same time making the decisions whether the, the project is to be funded or not so this means that if an applicant imparts a mountain of material which the panelists have to flow through the three and says thus they say if proposals poorly written or written in such a way that bores people it's not like to rise to the top it means well, well uh, preparing the proposal um, for research grant application one thing is to be sure that the reviewer <coughs> sorry the applicant should not write the lengthy sort of proposals which, which which seems very clumsy and and the reviewer may find or the assessor may find it very boring so we should be careful in this regard even now let us move to uh, the uh, next slide uh, which has been entitled as introductions to promote introductions to promotion and general track application tenure um track application is linked to the promotion of the scholars uh, from the assistant professor level to the rank of associate professors and when the scholars gain tenure they are promoted to the professors of university as per the US, as per the US university system the process of gaining tenure in the USA is very difficult and in any other nation which can take five to seven years of a junior academic life. In the UK and Australians, since a typical entry level appointment is at the lecturer level, and when after a period of probation, anything about two to five years, the position becomes confirmed. Generally, the reviews uh, focus on three aspects of the applicant work. First is the resource, second one is teaching, and the third one is service. The role of external assessors also depends on the university, the University of California, Los Angeles, and the University of California, Berkeley, typically involve external assessors in the promotion tenure process. Uh, whereas comprehensive universities like California State University don't have, doesn't have external assessors. <clears throat> Let's go to the next point. Reviewing the promotion and tenure track application. Promotion and tenure track applications are assessed by academic peers within the applicant's institutions or from outside the institution. Applicants will have an idea who is assessing their applications within their institution. They may not know who is doing this from outside, but they may, be, they may suggest someone to do this. So this is not the affordable. As for the guidelines published by American associations for applied linguistics for promotion and tenure also focuses on the quality research teaching and service in the area of applied linguistics. The scholarly outputs which are um, indicator uh, which are indicator uh, as for the uh, as for the guidelines published by the American Association for Applied Linguistics for promotion and general focus on the quality research teaching and service in the area of applied linguistics. The scholarly outputs, which are indicators of research quality, are peer reviewed journal articles, scholarly books, and referred book chapters. But these things are very clear. And uh, generally, uh, non referred articles and books uh, chapters are not given much value um, as much as those of referred one. Libraries, keynote addresses, and invited lectures also provide uh, evidence of scholars standing in the field and the impact of their work. Teaching is evaluated for promotion and tenure on the basis of students evaluation and in some cases by applicants academic peers. Journal editors and engagement with the mass media and social media can also provide evidence of connections to the community. So these are some of the ideas about the reviewing promotion and tenure track application.
<coughs> let's go to the introductions to book reviews. The reviews of academic books are most public form of peer reviews that appear in academic journals. The publishers all, uh, ask academics to write on the books they are about to publish. So the things are pretty clear, right? Before the books are getting published, the books is to be reviewed by academicians. The following are the moves that occur in the book reviews. For example, introducing, introducing the book, outlining the book, highlighting parts of the book, providing closing evaluation of the book. At the final move, the reviewer recommends or disqualifies the books or recommends that book despite certain shortcomings. Yes, shortcomings means the, the weaknesses of the book. Book blurbs. By the term book blurbs, it refers to the form of advertising that appears on the back covers of the book and on the publisher's website. Uh, it means it's a kind of advertisement which is pop, generally printed in the last page of the book when the back cover of this. The shorter and never contain negative evaluation of the book. They have both a descriptive and promotional function in that they all detail readers about the book and at the same time they aim to sell it to them. Book blurbs typically have three main moves, description, evaluation about the author is a very common thing, and peer review of book proposal. In order to publish a book, the first thing that needs to be written is a proposal. Prior to publishing books, the proposal of the book has been sent to the publisher. If they want to proceed it, it needs to be sent to the reviewers who will be asked to comment on the proposal addressing matters such as the aims and strengths of the book, the market of the book, the place of the book within the broader field, and suggestions for improving the book. This is very clear. So we completed book. Uh, it has to go through the following moves, draft chapters, reviews on the proposal, communications with publishers, commissioning editor, conference and other academic presentation, the topic of the book. So these are some of the procedures uh, 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 before the books get printed. So let us uh, go to the reviews uh, for a second editions of book. So before it, uh, reviews of book proposals. The viewers of book proposals will have an idea about the identity of author. The author may not recognize the identity of the reviewers. So these are some of the protocols. With published book reviews, the authors and the reviewers know each other. Generally, the reviewers are asked to provide a critical analysis of strengths and weaknesses of the proposals and recommendations as to what the book merits publication it stands or with revisions should be submitted um, after you working or it should be rejected. So the key point that are asked to address in their review are strength and weakness of proposal. Yes, it's connected, it's engagement with recent work, it's fast, etc. This thing is really clear. Reviews for second edition book. It is obvious that reviews conducted for second edition will be approached differently by publishers. A set of questionnaires will be prepared about three use of books, about their use of books, uh, its content and organizations, and how it could be improved to the questions to the readers of this book. The readers are asked whether there are any there are any features or chapters to be added in new edition, any shortcomings to be addressed, and any recommendations of how the organization's content is style to be. In pro. It's about the second edition, reviewing of second edition's book. And the last one is review of journal articles. Generally, a journal is a collection of articles that is published regularly throughout the year. The journal presents the most recent in our research and journal articles written by experts for experts. They may be published in print or online formats or both. Journal articles are accessed, um, assessed uh, first by the journal editors and then if they are sent out uh, for review by other researchers in the same areas for of research, authors may not know who is reviewing their work, have you in some cases. Readers may not know the name of the author. This is the portal about giving this on articles. Thank you very much and expecting a creative feedback.